Good morning, everybody. It's Dave. Thanks for joining me this morning. Hey, if you haven't had a chance, like, comment, and subscribe to these videos uh, so you can get the notification, but also because you're the best part of this channel. You're interacting, your questions, you joining us on the live streams especially is what makes this channel great. Would you consider joining us? Would love to have you. Please subscribe. But I wanted to get into two, two really big hacks that I've learned on Manjaro. And these are two hacks that I would recommend everybody who is just starting uh, really give a thought to, to, uh, to trying. So the first thing is eating protein. And I, I mean, by protein, I don't mean a protein shake. I mean, if you can get it down, start your day with meat. The reason that I say that is the first six, eight weeks of my journey, I really uh, struggled with having the feeling of fullness beyond the first couple days. But I was measuring that by how often I wanted to eat or didn't because I was really trying to practice just eating when my body told me to because really that's the advice that I was given when I started uh, on the medication. But what I didn't understand uh, or maybe what I should have understood about my own patterns of eating that Manjaro wasn't just going to fix is that that's kind of how I ate before Manjaro is I'd wait and wait and wait and wait and wait until I was so hungry that I could eat a side of beef. So in half the time I would. <laughs> so I, I gotta say, once I shifted to forcing myself to get some meat protein in in the morning, it has been a game changer. And it's allowed me to feel fuller for longer past the first couple of days that I take the shot. And I, I believe the reason is that when you eat meat, it's already a slow digesting food. But as we all know with Manjaro, Manjaro's one of their chief mechanisms that, that allows it to help people lose weight is it makes you feel fuller longer by delaying gastric emptying. So it slows down the digestion even more. What that's done is it allows me to feel full off of that meat almost until I go to bed at night. Um, so obviously this gets me to the second hack that I've found. You want to make sure that you're getting the right nutrients and any time that you're losing weight, uh, it's very likely that your body is low in three things, sodium, potassium, and magnesium. So that's where, uh, the sacred eats keto recharge is a staple, a staple for me. I get it from Amazon, links in the description. Um, but this has done two things for me. This has helped me to not feel so fatigued uh, when I'm consuming few, so few calories. Um, and this is something that I think a lot of people have learned on the keto diet, especially that's I think why it's branded Keto Recharge. But really, I think this is for anybody who's losing weight is once you're deficient in potassium and magnesium and sodium, your one of the main side effects is you feel brain fog and extremely tired. And that's what most people um, feel on the first couple days after they take the shot. And I would argue it's because also the appetite, appetite suppression is naturally the highest in that window for I think probably most people, perhaps I'm wrong. Uh, but if that's your experience, leave it in the comments. Um, but I think what this does is it replenishes that, um, <clears throat> those, those electrolytes, and, and replenishes, uh, again, the potassium, sodium, and magnesium, and helps me to not feel that uber sleepiness, brain fog, all that. The other thing that I supplement with is Athletic Greens. Link in the description to Athletic Greens as well. Athletic Greens makes sure that I'm just getting all my vitamins that I might be missing out on. Um, it's got a lot of great... Um, a great... A lot of... A really good, rich profile of vitamins. So... Uh, I'd encourage you to check that out as well. But those are the three main things that are helping me to see an elevated level of success uh, on Manjaro. Um, the last couple weeks, I've seen some of the biggest drops that I've had uh, since I've been on Manjaro. Um, part of that is being on the 15 milligram dose, which taps into um, the the most benefit I think that, that Manjaro has to offer me. Uh, but I also wanted to be coupling it with, with some of these other changes. And I think that's been, again, a really big change for me is trying to get that meat protein in early in the morning. 
Um, not everybody can stomach it and not everybody eats meat. So certainly this advice isn't for everybody, but for me, I feel like it's been a game changer. So I wanted to share it with you. Uh, we'll be doing next week, uh, an update on the 10 week, um, the 10 week results, uh, both in my A1C and my weight. And I'm super excited to share those with you, but wanted to get, uh, these, uh, kind of Manjaro hacks out to you because I wish that I would have done these things earlier on in uh, my Manjaro journey because perhaps I would have seen some more success at those lower doses. But I hope that you all have a great day. Uh, thank you for, for tuning in to last week's Friday Night Live. I hope you'll join us this Friday for our next Friday Night Live. Uh, also, we hit a thousand subscribers this uh, week, which is a huge milestone for the channel, was a very big short-term goal for me. You all helped me reach it. And again, I gotta say, you're the best part of this channel. So if you're watching this video for the first time and you haven't uh, hit that subscribe button, I would just ask that you would because we would love to have you. We would love to have you on this channel. You're the best part of this channel. I hope that you have a great week. Enjoy your day and make it count. Have a good one.